Welcome to Atlantic Motorsport Park and our Liquid Molly Pro Sport Bike Race 5 of 7 in the 2017 Mopar CSBK National Series. Honda Canada presents the Pro Cycle Atlantic Nationals. Hi everybody, this is Colin Fraser filling in for Frank Wood and I'm joined here with Andrew Murray, a local expert at Atlantic Motorsport Park, a frightening place if ever there was one. Thanks uh, Colin, it's great to be here as part of this, uh, this round of the Canadian Superbike Championship as the bikes are rolling out for the warm-up. Interesting situation here, we had a race yesterday, it was a very, very dramatic and exciting event, lots of action, and the same guys are lining up to do it again, but the same guys minus arguably the star of the show yesterday. Yeah, we're missing uh, Frank uh, Trombino as he had an incident in the Superbike race uh, yesterday afternoon. So he was unable to make the grid uh, here in this race. Getting ready to battle again, our rider's choice. Start lights are all lit. When they all go out, the field will take off. And there we go, and pretty even between the two Yamahas. Another good start with uh, Kazaz and Mitch Card going down into turn one, side by side, trying to get the drive down into turn two. It's nice that these guys waited for the tires to get warm before they started <laughs> running side by side. And uh, wow, a terrific pace right off the bat. So there's no question that we are going to roll up our sleeves and the absence of Frank Trombino and the Pro Star Honda is not going to spoil this one. We saw these two battle out yesterday too, Colin, and it was really exciting to watch those guys. So without uh, Frank Trombino to chase down, it could be interesting to see how this battle plays out for the top three spots. Yeah, and got a shout out to Stacey Nesbitt on that Moto Van Honda in third. That's got to be the best effort of her pro career, and she's always been really strong at Atlantic Motorsport Park. She had a good run yesterday, was caught by O'Leary late in the race, but she is right in the running in third here with the top guns, the young young guns and of course she's a young gun too. Yep, she's running really well in this race and uh, she'll be happy to be running up with that group, that's for sure. Really fast laps in the opening here, that's for sure. And good to see Stacy, who really hasn't lost any ground at all since the start. Yep. And uh, that's encouraging that she's on the top Honda at this moment. Look at this. There goes Kazaz on the inside, a popular spot to pass when you get a strong drive. Very, very strong pace and really didn't wait for those Dunlops looks to come around. And there you can see in the background, Stacy is still a solid third. Yeah, it's great uh, position for Stacy. She's been running really well in this race. Uh, she's going to be happy if she can continue to hold that spot. Well, here we go. A look at O'Leary, who appears to have dealt with Stacy Nesbitt, or at least has worked his way by. So now Shaw O'Leary, for the first time, is in a podium position in a pro race after such a strong regional and then amateur national career last year. There you can see the two young Honda riders chasing the two young Yamaha riders. That's right. And again, Jacob coming off that... Uh, that crash at Grand Bend with the hand injury. This is his first uh, weekend out racing since then. So uh, it's good to see him now with a possibility of being on the podium. And it's interesting too that uh, you could actually see the leaders at the front of that shot. So given how far we are into this race, on board with Stacy, what a shot of mm. how well O'Leary can work this track more lean than anybody really. Yeah. Oh, and a big wheelie over five. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I think you were telling us the other day that that's not the fast way. And I know that's true, but it is sure great to watch. It brings back memories of Steve Crevier and Don Monroe and lots of crazy people at Atlantic <laughs> Motorsport Park. Here they go through turn eight, that drive into turn nine. Uh, Austin uh, starting to pull away from uh, Stacy Nesbitt now through the carousel. Yeah, watching how uh, O'Leary's riding there, and it looks like the part of Frank Trombino is going to be played by him. His riding style the most similar uh, to Frank's, and we are missing Frank a lot, but it is really great to see Shaw O'Leary uh, have this kind of pace. We're on board with Stacy Nesbitt with her Moto Van Honda as they break down into turn one and Nesbitt is hanging in there and this is certainly her best pro performance and uh, at a track where you don't normally expect a visitor to necessarily show so well. Yeah, and uh, it is interesting to walk, uh, watch Jacob as he goes through these corners. You're right, he's really smooth. Almost similar to uh, Frank Trombino from yesterday, you're right. And he isn't worried about what the bike's doing because I guess he has the comfort of more knowledge than the people he's around. He tried everything. Kazaz held him off to take the win. Shaw O'Leary works his way up to third. What could have been? Stacy Nesbitt, a really solid fourth from yet another Honda. Louis Rafa, a regular on the series, scoring more points. Alex Coelho, our second overall rider from last season. Sixth on a borrowed Yamaha. David McKay in his first appearance aboard a Kawasaki. Seventh from Eret, who was lapped right at the end there on board his Triumph. Tony Lanny and Jean